This thing is DIY. I'm going to show you how to install a rear drive belt to a Husqvarna mower, uh, early 2000s. Okay, what you can see is the blade's already off. It's got two screws to hold the blade on, on this model here. There's four screws around to hold this cover on, and this thing just comes off. And it looks kind of weird when you get up under here. Um, this actually broke off, taken off, but this is really just serving as a cotter pin. And this guy goes... You'll see it, it slides through here, then it stretches around and connects to here. So I just got, I just put wire through there and bent it over. That's all that's serving. There's no function to this as a spring. It's just strictly um, there to, to keep this bar. This bar slides that way and it slides out these pins and then this whole thing moves that way. So that's just there to kind of hold this bar in place. And this is just caught a pin. So I'm going to go and remove that and show you what we're doing here. So you want to get this cable out next, this is going to the blade, and you see it just kind of fits in that hole there, so that just pops out there. And then to get this, uh, to get this loose here, to release the tension, you stick a screwdriver right through here, right around this lower spring area, there's a bar under here. You get in that bar, and it'll allow you to get to get some tension loose. You can push down this. So I'm going to show you. I'm put my hammer down and I'll, I'm going to push down. I'll pull that pin out, that bar out, and I'll show you here in a second. Okay, so I've taken that I've taken that bar out to see I can move that whole thing like that. So that'll keep you from having to knock it out and then making a big jump to the left. But when it's out, it comes all the way over like that. But that's how you, when you want to put it back in, you just put that screwdriver down. There's a brace back in there where you can get some leverage and just pull that thing all the way over to get that bar back in. That's how you get that out. That's the way I got this one out is if you did, I've already got it loose here. So you put, take your needle nose here, just take one end of it against this bracket and the other end against that hook, it'll just pop right through. And this guy here is, is loose. take it off but anyway it's off so now your path is clear so the only thing left to do is so now your belt will get up in here and you can just fish it through here all right so at this point like I said you've got everything loose so that 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 guy come out a little hole right fits in that little hole right there but you can you can get this out of your way in between there you can be able to, you can bend this way back and that's what you're gonna have to do to slide your belt over the next thing you're gonna do take your belt and slide it out to the deck. This is pretty standard here. There's no point in showing you how to hook up pulleys. I'm trying to... You get your belt kind of going that way. Now you just kind of fish it around all your cables here. part of this little belt guide here. Come over here and just manipulate this little silver piece around a little bit. Which I think is to the blade break. You get into that. You can feel the pulley back here. The pulley's right on top of this silver piece. So you're up here. The last thing you gotta do is you gotta pull this thing down. I'll try to show you if you can, if you can. sorry. Get it way up there against the deck. You pull this little bar down and just get the belt in. So that just jumped over that. So now your belt is around the pulley. It's all the way up in here. And you just reverse order to do everything. Just pull it tight. It's pretty self explanatory on the deck. You just got to mount and just run around the pulleys. But this is the part that everybody gets uh, confused. I didn't see any videos on this, so I thought I'd release it. But that's it. Just reverse order, put it back um, the way you got it. And that's it.